you're a Northeast guy. Yes, sir. Right? So you're drafted in the first round by the Mets, and it's all laid out for you, right? You're going to pitch for a team that's close to home, and you can probably see the whole thing, and then bang, they hit you with the deal, and now you're Mariner property. Take us back to that day. <laughs> to that day, a uh, whirlwind of emotions. Um, at first, obviously, bittersweet to leave home. You know, I'm 30 minutes from City Field. Mom and Dad could see me play. Little brother could see me play. All my friends could come out every start. Would have been awesome. Mm. But then get traded, obviously, to Seattle. And if you go back to 2016, that's where I thought I was getting drafted. Um, thought Kyle wasn't going to be there, and I was told that that was where I was going to go out of the draft. So in my head on draft day, I was going to Seattle, so I was already prepared to go there. Wow. So it was just things coming full circle and where I needed to be and extremely happy with the opportunity and the opportunities we have in our system. So, so can you guys put that back up there to trade? The, the list. Tell us about some of the guys you got traded with. Uh, Jay Bruce, awesome guy. Got a chance to meet him for the first time in uh, camp last year. He was amazing. Yeah, we um, know who he is. Yeah. Uh, you want to talk about Jared Kelnick? Is yeah, that the one you want to get no, to? I'll, no, I'll let you go down the all list. Right. I know you know all these guys. Ja uh, Jared, special, special, special for a 19-year-old, special in general. Uh, he's got some really big things coming up. Um, myself. Anthony Schwarzak, another great dude, got to meet him. Honestly, uh, I've also, I was working out with him a lot this offseason. Got to pick his brain a little bit more. I didn't really get a chance to play with him in season, just mm -hmm. like Jay, but um, got to pick his brain in Florida, which was awesome. And then Gerson Bautista, big hard-throwing righty, um, another one of my buddies that I played with coming up through high. So they did pretty there. good in that deal, you think? Yeah, they got some pretty good young, dudes. Young, young talent. Yeah. For somebody like you who was on everybody's radar when you were a prep, uh, it, there's so many what if scenarios, right? Because you weren't you drafted by the Dodgers, and then you, yes, you went to go and pitch at Boston College instead. Do you ever find yourself playing the game? What if? What if uh, I hadn't gone to college and the Dodgers drafted me? All the time. Me and my dad joke about it, um, yeah. and I say, what what happens if I would hit my velo jump in pro ball at 16 or 17? But then we kind of go back and just say, you know what? Everything happens for a reason. That's and right. We're where we are, where we're supposed to be. How did you end up at Boston College? Uh, my my dad and my uh, and my high school coach kind of swindled me into that one, but also I walked on campus. <laughs> I walked on campus and um, fell in love with the campus. My coach was amazing, uh, made me feel right at home, trusted them. He believed in me at the time. I was small. I was a two way guy. He told me I could play two way right away. So um, I wanted to go in and be able to play against the big schools and show that I could beat them. If I, I figured if I could beat them, then it would raise my stock even. So how, how did you settle on pitching then? Uh, he took the bat out of my hands very quickly. I got five at bats, and he said, "You're done." So <laughs> that was it. Five was at it. bats. Five at bats and fall ball too. Give me a chance, season. man. You know, what would you tell a kid, Justin? Because I, I think that schools in the Northeast in baseball. There's this difficulty they have. Look, if you're a kid and you have a chance to go play baseball in the southeast in Texas and California, it's harder to recruit, right, when you're up in the northeast. What would you tell a kid who is considering playing in a northeastern college environment versus somewhere else, given that built-in bias? I mean, for me, I'm, I'm a big advocate. Um, obviously, in the northeast, we have disadvantages. We have weather. Um, facilities may not be as nice. Um, but for us at BC, we use that as our advantage. It, it made us tougher. Um, I got into Pro Bowl. I didn't need the nice locker room. I never had a nice locker room. Anything I was walking into was nicer than what I had in college. I played with some dudes who were in shell shock, walking into a high A, low A locker room um, mm. without wooden lockers or without clubbies taking care of all their stuff top to bottom. Interesting. And it, it teaches you how to work because if you want to get to where you want to be at the end of the day, which is the big leagues, you got to work. And no matter where you go, northeast, southeast, west, um, Canada, they'll find you if you can play. So all you got to be about is your work and just get better every day.